Part of the Earth's field that is um, axially symmetric. We're moving through it at 350 miles per second. 350 meters per second. We've got a generator. What if the Earth itself could generate electricity? Not from rivers or winds, but from its very spin through space. In the 1830s, Michael Faraday asked this question. He built machines. He tested metals. The answer was silence. For nearly two centuries, science agreed that no power hides in Earth's motion. But then, a whisper appeared. A signal so faint it seemed impossible, yet too precise to dismiss. If you have ever wondered whether the planet holds secrets we cannot see, this story is for you. Because sometimes the smallest spark rewrites everything we know. Faraday's Failed Quest in the early 1830s, Michael Faraday faced a puzzle. He had already shown how moving a wire through a magnetic field could create electricity. That idea became the foundation of modern generators. But what about the Earth itself? Our planet is wrapped in a magnetic field, and it spins every day. Faraday asked a simple question. Could this motion be used to make power? He designed experiments with solid metal conductors. He rotated them in different ways. He measured carefully for any sign of current. Again and again, he found nothing. No matter how he arranged the test, the result stayed the same. The Earth's rotation produced no measurable voltage. His conclusion seemed final. The planet and its field turned together as one system. There was no relative motion to drive induction. Faraday closed the case. For nearly two centuries, his answer stood unchallenged. The theory that challenged textbooks. In 2016, a new idea appeared. Two physicists, Christopher Chiba and Kevin Hahn, looked again at Faraday's problem. They asked what would happen if the conductor were not solid? What if the shape itself could change the rules? Their paper suggested a hollow shell could behave differently. They argued that the magnetic field could slip through such a shell. This would allow Earth's spin to push charges around its surface. It would not break Faraday's logic. It would bypass it. The claim was bold. For generations, students had been taught that this effect was impossible. Many experts dismissed the idea at once. The math looked unusual. The effect seemed too small to matter, and no one had ever seen proof. Still, the theory did not fade. It opened a crack in a wall that had stood for two centuries. If true, it meant the Earth itself could be a slow but steady generator. The only way to know was to build the device and see what nature revealed. Building the impossible machine. The next step was bold. In 2025, the team decided to test the theory with real hardware. They did not want a thought experiment. They wanted a signal that could be measured. The design was simple in appearance. A hollow cylinder of metal, 30 centimeters long, and just over one centimeter wide. The choice of material was critical. They used manganese zinc ferrite, a compound that allowed the Earth's magnetic field to pass through while blocking most unwanted noise. The cylinder was carefully positioned. Its axis had to be at a right angle to both the magnetic field and the local spin of the planet. Every detail mattered. Even a small change in angle could kill the effect. The setup was placed inside shielding. This was to block out stray electrical signals from power lines, radios, and other sources. They also corrected for thermal effects that might mimic a false current. The experiment looked unremarkable. No moving parts, no giant coils, just a quiet tube pointed with precision. But in its silence, it held a question older than modern science. Could the Earth itself finally whisper electricity into a waiting circuit? A whisper of power. Then came the moment of truth. 
The wires from the hollow cylinder ran into sensitive instruments. The researchers waited as the data began to appear. A small line moved across the screen. It was faint, but steady. The reading showed about 17 microvolts. The current was around 25 nanoamperes. That is only 4 nanowatts of power. Tiny beyond imagination. Yet it was real. The signal was not random. It matched exactly what the theory predicted. When the cylinder was turned one way, the voltage rose. When it was turned the other way, the sign reversed. When it was lined up with Earth's axis, the signal fell to zero. The pattern followed the Earth's motion like a shadow. This was no accident. It was proof that the planet was pushing electrons into the shell. The power was almost nothing compared to the daily machines. Still, it carried weight. It showed that energy could be drawn directly from Earth's spin through its field. The room was quiet. No fireworks. No dramatic flash. Only a faint current, steady and calm, speaking a truth. Long thought impossible. Controls and confirmations. A true discovery needs more than one signal. It must survive every test that can be imagined. So the team built controls. First, they tried a solid cylinder. Same length, same diameter, same material. It produced no measurable voltage. The line on the screen stayed flat. Next, they used a hollow shell of a different substance. This one had a high magnetic Reynolds number. It blocked the field instead of letting it through. Again, the signal vanished. They also rotated the hollow ferret tube into new positions. Each time, the voltage followed the rules predicted by theory. It peaked at right angles. It died when aligned with the rotation axis. It flipped direction when turned 180 degrees. The agreement was too exact to ignore. These trials confirmed that the geometry and the material were both essential. The effect was fragile, but real. Why Faraday wasn't wrong. It might seem that this new finding proves Faraday made a mistake, but that is not the case. His tests used solid conductors. In that shape, the laws he described work exactly as he wrote. The hollow cylinder changes the situation. It allows the magnetic field to pass through and set up currents on the surface. This geometry was not part of Faraday's design, so his result was correct for what he built. The new work does not break his mathematics. It steps around it by shifting the boundaries. This is how science grows. Old truths remain valid, but new layers appear when conditions change. Faraday's legacy remains untouched, yet extended in a new direction. Why this matters. Discoveries are not always about size. Sometimes a signal so small it can barely be seen changes how we think about nature. This experiment is one of those moments. For nearly two centuries, the textbooks were clear. Earth's spin through its own magnetic field could not power a circuit. Now that the rule has been bent, not broken, but shifted, the meaning is deeper than the microvolts on the screen. It shows that even well-tested science can still hide loopholes. It reminds us that no verdict is final if new ideas open new paths. The history of science is filled with such turning points. From the discovery of radiation to the quantum world, Many surprises started as faint signals. Each began with a reading others dismissed as noise. This result may not light a bulb, but it piques curiosity. It proves there are still questions waiting in plain sight, and it shows the Earth itself holds secrets we are only beginning to touch. The Limits of the Effect The power drawn from the cylinder is extremely weak. Earth's magnetic field is only a fraction of a Gauss. That strength is tiny compared to laboratory magnets. Because of this, the current will always remain small. 
Scaling up the device does not solve the problem. A larger shell still faces the same weak field. Even if kilometers of material were used, the output would remain minuscule. The numbers tell the truth. 4 nanowatts is a billion times less than the energy a phone charger delivers. No grid can run on such a trickle. No home can be lit with it. This is not a path to endless electricity for cities. It is a narrow effect born from the planet's slow spin. Its value lies in proof, not in power, at least with present methods. Possible Applications Even the smallest source of energy can matter in the right place. This effect will not power homes, but it could serve special roles. Think of sensors buried in remote ground. They need almost no power, yet must work for years. A steady trickle from Earth's field could keep them alive without batteries. Imagine instruments deep in the ocean or hidden in polar ice. Replacing batteries is costly and risky. A device that feeds on the planet's spin could run quietly forever. Space offers more options. Around Mars or Jupiter, the magnetic fields are stronger than on Earth. A hollow shell tuned to those conditions might draw more current. Probes exploring those worlds could use it as a constant backup. It will never match solar panels or nuclear cells. Yet for low-power tools in harsh places, it could become a silent ally. Looking ahead. This first signal is not the end. It is the start of a new chapter. Other laboratories will try to repeat the result. If they see the same faint current, the finding becomes stronger. If they fail, the debate will return. Future studies may search for better shapes. They may test new materials that guide fields more efficiently. They may even try larger arrays to see if the effect can be amplified. Whatever the outcome, one truth is clear. The Earth has given us a new puzzle, and science will not ignore it. A hollow tube has shown that the Earth itself can whisper power. It is not enough to run machines. It is enough to change what we believe. Faraday closed the book almost 200 years ago. Now a new page has opened. It proves that even settled science can hide surprises. So what other effects wait unseen in plain sight? What other laws might bend when tested in new ways? The planet turns, the field flows, and a tiny current rides between them. A hidden current, quiet yet profound, reminding us that discovery never ends.